Luke chapter 16 verse 19. Verse 19 the Bible says. There was a certain rich man. Who was clothed in purple. And fine linen. And fed sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Full of sores. Who was laid at his gate. Desiring to be fed with the crumbs. Which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flames but Abraham said son remember that in your lifetime you received your good things and like likewise Lazarus evil things but now he's comforted and you are tormented and besides all these between us and you there is a great gulf fixed so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot nor can those from there pass to us. Once again, the poor died, and the rich also what? Died. Those who are willing, listen to this, to exchange the riches of the world for the treasure where? In heaven, they will die. And those who are not willing to exchange the riches of this world for the treasures in heaven, they will also what? Die. And those who do even worse, those who exchange the treasure in heaven for the riches of this world will also die. Every human being will die. Or is there anyone here who is 200 years old? Maybe look old, but not that old. Because that's life. Life has a beginning, has a middle, but also has an end. And that's to all of us. To all of us. Now here the Bible is not being apologetic to the culture. Some people say for me to enter the heavens I have to be poor. No it's not talking about being poor. It's talking about not having treasures where? On earth. The Bible says where your treasure is. There will your heart be also. So if you put your heart in what is physical and not in God, when the physical things pass, what do you have? Nothing whatsoever. Now, when we talk about riches of this world, when we see what happened here, these rich men, whom the Bible does not mention by name, does not call his name, but the Bible mentions his, his status. He was a rich man, he dressed in purple, which was quite expensive to get. And he fed sumptuously. He had abundance of food, abundance in everything. His life was superb. Physically, in the eyes of everyone else. He lived the life. Some people might say he, he, he never knew Lazarus was at his gate. No, he knew Lazarus. Was at his gate because when Lazarus was in the embrace of Abraham, he recognized Lazarus. He never helped because he did not want to. Did not have the love of God inside of him. He ate the best he could afford, but never ate the flesh and drank the blood of Jesus. 
of which Jesus said, if you do not eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven by saying, you will have no part with me. Now to have these riches, the riches of the earth is not necessary to have money. Some people don't have money, but their riches is their sin. They cherish their sin. They don't want to let go of their sin. They build sins upon their sins. The weakness of their flesh, that's their riches. They don't have financial riches, but they have a grudge. They have a hard feeling that no matter what happens, they don't let go. Like the rich young ruler. When Jesus tells them, let go. One thing you lack, and let's not sell your goods and give to the poor, but one thing you lack, let go of this grudge. The same attitude of the rich young ruler they take. They turn their backs on Jesus and they go their own direction. They are not willing to give up what they have for the treasure where? Heaven. They know they are living adultery. They know they are lying. They know. Even though they pose to be good Christians, but they know the wrong things they are doing. When they come to God, God tells them, one thing you lack, let go of it and you will have treasure where? That's what God is offering to you, a treasure in heaven. But that is a cost. And if you're not willing to pay this cost, this treasure which could be yours, will not be yours. And what happened to the rich men will happen to all of us. What happened to Lazarus will happen to all of us. We will face our mortality. We will die. And if you die with riches on earth, without a treasure where? In heaven. You will face what Lazarus faced. I mean, the rich men faced. The Bible says, Lazarus, when he died, the angels came to him. What was the treasure of Lazarus? The kingdom of heaven. He had no riches in the world. His treasure was the kingdom of heaven. On the other hand, the rich men had riches, but did you not have the treasure where? In heaven. So Lazarus had the riches in heaven. So the angels. The angels went to pick him up. Coming to pick you up. Let us say I die on my bed. And I open my eyes thinking I am alive. And I see two angels. To pick me up to the heavens. Imagine if you are in hospital. And you know the doctors are there taking care of you. And all of a sudden, two angels from the heavens, they come to pick you up. Imagine the situation of Lazarus died begging for food. And now two angels, they come to pick you up. That's what happened to Lazarus. But Lazarus had no treasure where, no riches where, on earth, but treasure in heaven. Let go of the riches of this world. What, do, what does the world value today? Listen to this. Listen, pay attention to this. What does the world value today? The world value money. Your political view of the world. Hmm? Your political view of the world. When, uh, when, uh, when uh, a, Holly, a Hollywood actor calls himself Christian, do you know how he's treated? Badly. He loses opportunities, misses, misses out on, on, uh, on opportunities because he's what? A Christian, because he's a Christian. Because he says, hey, I'm not going to kiss another man. Huh? Because he says, I'm not going to kiss another woman. So they will miss out on opportunity because Hollywood is all about that nowadays. When somebody says, I am Republican and not Democrat. The same thing happens because Democrats, they don't care for moral values. But Republicans, at least, 
They care for such a thing. At least they say they do. So they miss out on opportunities because of their choices. And this missing out of the opportunities means you are, you are giving up the riches of this world so you can have what? Treasure in heaven. There is a, there is a price to pay. Psst, there is a price to what? Pay. There is a price to pay. So the world values all that. And when you exchange all that for the kingdom of heavens, you are building treasure in heaven. Now the rich man, the one who had riches only and not a treasure in heaven, he was not willing to pay the price. And the Bible says upon his death, he was just buried. No angels to pick him up. And the Bible says he was in age or hell, in torment, tormented. And let us see what he asked for. Again, he had riches on earth and no treasure where? No treasure in heaven. So let us see what happens to those who have riches on earth and no treasure in heaven. Once again, 24. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And said to Lazarus, the one who had no riches on earth, but had treasure in heaven. So send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in these flames. Riches on earth, but no treasure where? In heaven. He was begging for a little water to touch his tongue. Lazarus begged for the crumbs. But there was a time there was no need for crumbs anymore. Because the angels came to pick him up. Now the torment of the rich man who had no treasure in heaven, was eternal. The riches of this world, they pass. Whatever the world values as riches, pass. But whatever is a treasure in heaven, remains for eternity. Pay the price. The price the rich, young ruler, was unwilling to pay. That is to give up riches for the treasure where? In heaven. Wherever the riches you have may be. Perhaps this grudge. Perhaps this pride. This pride. Oh, I am this, I am that, I am the other. I'm not changing. It's time to let go. So you can have a treasure in heaven. The Bible says, Jesus made himself poor. Look what the Bible says. Jesus made himself poor poor he gave up the riches of the world so he could have the treasure where in heaven and the bible says after he was crucified resurrected and ascended to the heaven he said on the right hand side of god the father who got a name above all other names and at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. But there was a price to pay. And the price was to live a life of holiness on earth and to be crucified, unjustified crucifixion on, the, I mean, on a hill. A price to pay. No one enters the kingdom of heaven with their earthly riches but only after they give it up whatever it is give up so you can have treasures in heaven 